Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. As always, if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have a super cute quarterly subscription to share with you. It is the Kirin and Hottie box. They actually have two subscriptions each quarter. They have their Kirin box, which is what I have here, as well as the Harine Zumi box, which is slightly more geared towards kids, but both boxes are filled with kawaii goodness. You always get six to eight items, and there's usually a craft, which makes it really fun for me. This box is just $26.99 per quarter, but if you use the code Noel 25 you will save 25%, which I think is a great deal. I'll definitely leave all of that information for you in the description box below. This box was kindly sent to me for review and I'm super excited because I don't even remember what the theme is. I usually try to keep track over on Instagram and sometimes I'll switch over to the hottie box if I feel like it's a theme that I'm going to like more. I know a lot of you get both of the themes because you don't want to feel the FOMO and it's always so cute on either side. So let's see what we've got. So I finally figured out that Kirin is the giraffe and Hari, or Hari Nezumi is the uh, little hedgehog which makes sense I should have just like looked up the translation but inside it looks very cute I see some strawberries in here Rebecca I'm wondering if you got this box so there's a little note from the gals it says dear Noelle as always thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your support thank you guys so much for sending me this box I love it every quarter I'm so excited so the theme is harvest which sounds perfect for fall and then they always have nice full color sheets telling us all about the products that are inside looks like there's a QR code I'm guessing that's for the craft project there's been a lot of craft boxes these days that are using QR codes and YouTube videos which just takes a lot of effort um, but I do always really have fun with the crafts because they're very accomplishable if that makes sense they're not like too crazy they don't take a ton of space and it just allows me to kind of do something with my hands which I really appreciate and then they have all these super cute origami stars in there I love those I like sprinkling them in my own packages when they send them off to people and if you look really closely on these ones you guys there are little fruits so like this one has little oranges on it these ones have I don't know if I can find one where you can actually see it this one has like little kiwi slices on it those are so so cute ones with apples and I don't know maybe pears I think those are so adorable I'm gonna have to put those off to the side I do have like a little um baggie I keep all of them but those ones are special because they're all like fruit themed I can't believe they have they have those they're so so sweet all right we're gonna open it oh my goodness so it looks like we've got lots of fruity themes in here. So it says, fall is time to enjoy the fruits and veggies of your spring and summer labor. We hope you enjoy everything in this harvest themed box. So we're gonna get lots of fruits and veggie stuff, which I think can be so, so cute when it's done like kawaii style. So you guys, you're gonna see what I see. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? So we got a fun watermelon pouch. It is so velvety soft. I love the pencil pouches that they put in this box. There was one that was like the little fox pencil pouch that was so cute and perfect for my friend Brandy out there. Um, so this is adorable. There's all kinds of goodies inside. It's velvety, soft, and very, very bright. Kind of perfect for summer, even though we're going into the fall months. I have gotten a couple of watermelon boxes over the years. I think I've had three different watermelon boxes boxes from three different subscriptions so I this is still not a repeat I like don't think I've really got any repeats in any of those boxes which is kind of crazy how many watermelon products there are out there you guys so let's go ahead and uh, read a little bit about it it says we got some stationary items and a pencil case. This watermelon case is large enough to hold all of the fun stationary items included in this box. And then it tells us what they are, but we will find out together. We'll open it up. So <laughs> this is adorable. <laughs> so this was one of the spoilers over on Instagram, but there were like variations and I am so into it. Look at my cute little corn guy. He's so adorable. Look at his little hair on the top. That is the cutest pen ever. So um, I'm wondering, so I was like, I don't see a pen here, but so it must be at this part. I wonder if it comes off this part. So it says, uh, we got uh, fruit erasers, a cute veggie pen and veggie clips. I don't know how to open this pen, you guys. Oh, whew, finally got it. So it does have like a little cap on it. I was like a little bit worried that I wasn't gonna be able to get into it, but I guess it like does screw closed like that. So, or 
oh no, you just press it on. So, oh my gosh, I'm gonna like have too much fun like making him dance around instead of actually doing my work. But can you just like imagine like watching someone write with this pen? Like if I was in a library somewhere, like if I was still in school and I was just watching someone like write across the page with this pen, I'd be like mesmerized. I think I would just be watching the pen instead of doing my own work. It's like you could use it for hypnotizing someone. Oh, I just hypnotized him with my corn pen. Um, this is a little turnip clip. Okay, this is really cute. I think I was, I was gonna like try to get into it maybe, but there's like no, there we go. I was trying to find the, the flap to get into this little, I think it's a turnip, cause it's not, it's not red like a beet, but it kind of looks like a beet to me. All right, so we got this little, little clippy. That's kind of cute. That's a turnip, right you guys? If it's, if it's white like that. It's not like a potato, so yeah, I'm gonna say turnip, so a little clippy. Um, that's pretty darn cute. Oh, we got some more. This one is, uh, this is like emoji famous, you guys can guess. It's, a, it's kind of a shame to me that some of our emojis like mean something else now. Like, I, I wanna, I love peaches and I like the peach emoji a lot, but like I feel like somebody thinks I'm being saucy when I use the peach emoji these days. Um, this is another emoji you gotta be careful about using. It's an eggplant, but it's pretty darn cute, so. You know, maybe I'll uh, clip together something that's a little saucy. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I have anything like that. What is this? So look. So there's definitely like a kiwi slice going on, but I don't know what the little um, mesh thingy is. So this looks like the kind of like uh, mesh stuff that they have on like Asian pears in the grocery store. So oh, I think it like might open up. That's cool. So it does say, there's like a little paper clip in here, you guys. And then there's sort of directions. So you let me know. You're gonna have to help me out and let me know if I'm supposed to actually do something with that foam or if I'm just supposed, it was just packaging. But basically this opens up and it's a, like a kiwi. So here we go. So that's what that looks like. So you can kind of see the kiwi slices. So that's what that looks like, sorry. But I don't know what you do with that, or is it just a notepad? Maybe it's just a notepad. I think, it, yeah, I think it's showing you that it's just a notepad, but it can open up and look kind of cool like that, and you could like sit it on your desk like that. But then you can't tell that it's a kiwi anymore, so I think it's just a little notepad. That's kind of cute though. All right, so it says, does it says fruit notepad? All right, so let me know if you got this box, if you got something besides a kiwi, because there's not a lot of like writing space on that. I might just use those as little like page tags, right? Because they're kind of narrow. I like kiwi, let me know if you like kiwi. And then we also got, Man, we got a ton of stuff. We got a bunch of little fruit erasers. I was gonna see if they smell and I just like almost ate it. <laughs> so we got a little orange one. I don't think it smells, but little orange guy. We got a little, ooh, we got a pineapple one. Doop. Yeah, I don't think they smell. We got a grape one, cute. And finally we got a cherry one, but I would just think that if they were like fruit themed, they would actually smell like what they're labeled as. I don't think they smell. When I was a kid, we definitely had like smelly erasers and we never used them to erase anything. But I don't think, mm, that grape one kind of smells. So maybe they're just like, because they like mingle together. So let's see. All right, or maybe I'm just making myself think it smells. I don't know. Um, still kind of happy about this guy. Deep. Uh, <laughs> we got some more items. It says, oh, so the craft project is a strawberry pom-pom. Okay, I've definitely seen these before, you guys. Um, and you have to, like, clip and everything. I think I, like, tr attempted to make one once before. I've definitely attempted to make a yarn pom-pom. And then when I had to, like, trim it up, it that's when everything went poorly. So it says, make your own adorable strawberry pom-pom using the craft kit. Scan the QR code below to link to our instructional video and blog post. So I'm sure it's actually easier for them to do it that way instead of um you know trying to like write out all of the instructions and sometimes you just have to like see it in action instead of trying to figure it out so usually i'm guessing that this is our little craft project so let me go ahead and open up the bag and see there should be some strawberry colored yarn in there so this is what i will be doing in front of the television probably very very soon so yes we've got some binder clips in there like Four, like mini binder, binder clips so let me show you what those look like like little tiny black ones which are very useful to have anyway so that's probably gonna hold our palms together then we've got these little like u-shaped pieces of board because I think you like wrap around to get your palms to go um, until you like cut the loops so I think that's what that's probably for if I'm kind of remembering and then we got a little a uh, few pieces of yarn so we got our red here and then we got green and we got the white I guess the white's probably for like every once in a while 
while you do some like dots on the strawberry so it looks pretty darn cute you guys we'll have to see how well I do and how good my trimming is I think the trick is going to be having really sharp scissors and honestly none of the scissors in my house these days are very sharp but we have a few more items so one of my favorite features of all of the Kirin and Hottie boxes is there's always a little amigurumi uh, piece which is a uh, crocheted item I had to think of the word in English so it says of course the hard-working bee has to be given credit for making it all happen the harvest that is no worries about getting stung by this crocheted cutie though a handmade cute and hottie exclusive oh my goodness he's adorable <sighs> crocheted things are so cute I have some of my favorite things from them like the little crocheted fox that I got in the fox box Ugh. Look how cute he is! Look at his little beady eyes and his little fluffy wings. So he's got his little antenna and then his wings are like kind of puffy. Like they're little fat wings so so he can fly because he's a big hefty bumblebee. Woo! Okay guys, I'm getting a little silly. Sorry. I can't help it. This box always makes me a little bit silly. He's so cute! I don't know what I'm going to do with him but I'm going to put him with all the other ones and it's adorable. Yay! This is my favorite part. <laughs> um, I love little cute animals okay so we also got a snack love that so this is interesting i've never seen this ha flakes it's got a little tomato on it and some japanese writing on it or chinese i don't know but i hmm i don't know you guys i don't know about tomato flakes it looks like a can of tomato sauce right so i think it's supposed to look like a can of tomato sauce it says we grew up loving these treats but never realized that they're made from the fruit of the chinese hawthorn it's so fun to eat the little discs one at a time so weird they look like little weird wafers i guess he's not a tomato he's a hawthorn and i guess it is chinese so um i will definitely try these i'll take pictures first of course uh but then we'll see how they taste i don't know they kind of look like little like um sweet tarts or like necco wafers or something so they just look like that so we'll have to try let me know in the comments below if you've had them before we have a few more items to see in our box huh all right so we have got some these look like little cutters okay so it says veggie cutters fall also means back to school and packing school lunches make your veggies more visually appealing by using these cutters to create cute shapes okay that's kind of cool i don't have anybody to make lunches for i mean i could make lunches for my husband but i don't think that he would really appreciate it if i cut his veggies into shapes so here is one that looks like a fish can you guys see it I don't know if you can see it's a fish i promise there there from an angle you can kind of see it's like goldfish shaped so i don't know i guess what would you slice with that i guess you could do like little like cheese slices and stuff this one looks like a little teddy bear or something that one you can kind of see better i think it's a teddy bear it's like a girl because it's got a dress on and then we've got some more this looks like a ooh, perfect for halloween we've got a bat I don't know you could definitely make cute little like fondant decorations or something if you're making cookies for sure that would be cute um and then this is i think this is a cat i'm gonna say <laughs> it's like looking at clouds and trying to figure out what it is i'm gonna say that's a cat but it feels like you could make it into anything that could be like a fox or a skunk or a dog anything that's kind of plumpy that's got a short little tail sure <laughs> I don't know. I also see they have a duck and a penguin. They got a couple birds on here. One looks like a flamingo. So I'm glad I got like land and sea. I got the fish. I got the bat, which is very Halloween-ish. The cat. So the cat and the, the bat would definitely be great for Halloween. Uh, bear. This like looks like a koala bear to me, right? Because it's got like big ears. I don't know. All right. We have one final item. We have fun fruit socks and you guys know how i feel about socks i don't wear them um <laughs> so there was some variations there were watermelons strawberries bananas lemons avocados and peaches so we all know i didn't want the avocado ones because i don't like avocado and we already had an avocado box um i would have loved to have gotten the strawberries or the watermelon well the watermelons were pink so probably not so these are actually kind of cute i think that if they were a little bit bigger my husband would actually wear these they're bananas i actually love the blue so the other ones are all like pink or white and the obviously the avocado ones are green so in terms of like overall color these are the best ones. I'll show you guys in a second. But these are actually pretty cute. I love that blue. Um, I might keep these. I mean, whimsical banana socks, because then it would be like funny if you were like sliding around the floors and saying like, oh, I almost slipped on a banana peel. <laughs> I 
now I'm silly. So this is all the variation. So yeah, the other ones had a little bit too much pink for me, right? And then of course, avocados. We don't like avocados. Uh, so the blue ones were definitely the best, even though I'm not really a fan of bananas. So we have this really great gelato shop. I know I've talked about it a million times, like right down the street. And they have this one flavor that's banana and chocolate. And it is my husband's absolute freaking favorite because it really tastes like mashed bananas. Like it tastes like a frozen banana that doesn't like break your teeth. And I just like, I don't know. I'm not like a huge banana fan. I just never have been. But these are the pretty, they look like the cutest like banana socks I've ever seen. So I'm kind of into these. I have to admit for whimsical socks, I'm kind of into these. So this was a really fun, it was basically a fruit themed box in my opinion with the occasional vegetable. I don't know if I'm going to use that kiwi notepad even though it's cute. I'll probably hold on to the pouch for a little while if I maybe find something cute to do with it. Of course, as always, my very favorite thing is the amigurumi and my little pal here, the corn guy. I don't know. Frank the corn guy. I don't know. Best pen ever. Let me know what your favorite item in this harvest box was. Let me know if you got the hottie box this semester I was gonna say this quarter if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up definitely check out Kiran and Hardy if you are looking for some whimsical kawaii goodness and I'll see you all very very soon in my next unboxing